Well, joining me here in the studio is in Abuja is General Paul Burrow, who is the uh, Special Advisor to the President on the Niger Delta and also coordinator of the Amnesty Program. General, you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Now, there seems to be some confusion uh, about the stance of the federal government on whether or not dialogue is going to happen with the militants in the Niger Delta or not. What exactly is the position of government? Um, thank you very much. The federal government is committed to dialogue as a strategy to resolving the ongoing uh, conflict in Niger Delta. Um, there are persons already uh, appointed to meet with uh, the uh, Avengers so that uh, uh, this process can be achieved. But you, you did hear the conversation uh, the, at the lecture that the, the Vice President was said to have given at Elizabeth Day University over the weekend where uh, well, it would seem that the government has a different look of how, you know, the militants are behaving. He was said to have called them criminals and uh, not militants. They were fighting for their pockets. How do you think uh, that helps the conversation that the federal government would want to have with them? Yeah, into the different elements now in the Niger Delta. We have the amnesty program that captured 30,000 ex-agitators and we have some persons who have taken it upon themselves to embarrass the government. This group of persons can be termed as criminals because they are not sincere as to what they want to achieve. It's not a, it's no more a struggle because I cannot see a reason why you vent your anger on pipes that do not have issues with you. If human beings that have issues with you, meet the, meet the human beings and sort it out amicably and not venting anger or issues to pipes. There's no way on earth that we hear people go to pipes, buzz them, because they want to embarrass the government. Nigeria is the only country we have. So we should all come together and see how we can advance uh, the country forward. So this aspects going on is not a struggle that was done before the amnesty program uh, was uh, uh, established. What exactly is the stance of the federal government on dialogue? Are they willing to have this dialogue? And have they identified the people whom they intend to have the dialogue with? Yes, please. The government have already established a group of persons that uh, they, 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 they want to dialogue with the Avengers. It should be a win-win thing. Let the Avengers members or the leadership make themselves available and let us start this dialogue. Uh, all over the world where conflicts exist, after the conflict, peace talks take place. So we're in this process of peace talks and where dialogue, mediation and uh, all other strategies employed to resolving conflicts are put in place towards resolving this uh, resource-based conflict happening in Niger Delta. So dialogue is the only way by which you can get it right. You can achieve win-win situation by dialoguing. What about the political groups? Are they involved? I believe so because uh, we have uh, politicians who are also you know, involved in uh, the, the, the routines of uh, the day-to-day -day running of the country. They also have the, pay, the part they're playing. But my own stance, my own responsibility, my own mandate is to reintegrate 30,000 ex-agitators that are captured in the amnesty program. And that's what I'm doing. Well, General, we'll have to take a break now. Uh, we will come to you shortly. Okay, thank you.